and welcome to part two of our augmented reality Unity tutorials and in this we're going to be looking at how we can track multiple images. So in our last tutorial we obviously had it where we could just see an, an augmented Mars. So basically it didn't matter whether it was Earth it was seen or Mars it was seen, it was putting just the one uh, prefab of Mars on. So we're going to make it now so when it sees Earth it will also see, will project Earth on there. Okay, so if I just go into the edit mode um, I'm going to click on our up here, edit environment. Um, I've already got obviously the Mars prefab. I'm going to do the same as what I did the other day, which is I'm going to create a, a 3D object, a sphere. I'm going to drag my earth texture onto there. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. So I'm just going to quick look up here what my scale is. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. I'm going to make sure it's in the center that's all relative when we actually project this. Um, I'm going to call this Earth. I can now drag Earth onto my bottom bar and that converts it to a prefab. I can now delete it from the actual scene, uh, come back out of edit mode and then be prepared to use that. Now the main thing is is we can't say tracked image prefab give us the Mars prefab so I'm going to delete that. What we need is some code that's going to look at these different images and then and then project the right the right uh, file. So I'm going to create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call this image tracker and then load that up in Visual Studio or whatever your is your preferred text editor. So now we're in Visual Studio. I'm going to start building this script up. Now I don't need start and update, so I'm just going to delete these. Um, and then I'm going to create a few uh, variables. So I'm just copying from a, a file I've already previously created. Um, so I'm going to create an AR tracked image manager. Um, and for that, I'm going to need to include the correct libraries. Uh, don't worry, I will include the script down below in the comments section so you want to type it all out. So I've got the uh, XR AR Foundation and AR, AR sub Subsystems. So this is going to keep track of all the images that we're using and this is going to keep track of all the prefabs that will be then replaced when it sees the correct image. Um, I'm now going to need three new functions and this is void away. This basically means when Unity starts up it will physically launch these scripts. So when it awakes it's going to get the Tracked Image Manager. Uh, when it's enabled um, and we get the tracked image changes, it knows there's another function to be dealt with and on disable um, again it's the same same function for now. So what I need is is obviously I need these on tracked image changes. So I've already created these uh, these functions. I'm just going to copy and paste the whole lot in one go and then I'll just sort of talk through the various bits of how it's kind of working. Now this script that I've got here is a, a mashed up version of what's on the actual Oculus and Unity forums telling you how to do image tracking and I've also blended in a method I also saw on YouTube which I'll post link below and then I edited it as well to make it more comfortable for how I like to work. Okay so I've got the on tracked image change so this is going to call this function whenever the camera sees an image or whether that image moves. So I've got a for each loop this is going to loop through all of our tracked images from the image manager and then it's going to loop through all of the prefabs and it's going to basically say if the image name is the same as the prefab name then we're going to instantiate that prefab so if it's not already in the scene it's going to spawn it into existence just like we did last time and then it's going to add it to our object list um, and that's how it creates it now for the same thing for the for the next function if it if it knows the image has moved so if we physically move that tracker marker around like it's in the opening video so again the same for loop I loop through all the tracked images I look through all the uh, prefabs if the name matches the other name, then it's going to then move it. Now at this point, we're not going to worry about deleting it because in the Android version, uh, the function isn't there for actually deleting objects from the list. And we, we don't need to at the moment, just keep it nice and simple. So that's our script. That's all we need to be able to track multiple images. The main bit is in setting things up properly. So I'm just going to save that file, come back into Unity, and just give that a moment to compile. Okay, so now we're going to go into our XR origin. I'm on the right Unity Flash, make sure. I have two, there we go. Um, so, yep, I'm on XR origin. I've got my AR tracked image manager that we created today in the last lesson. And I'm going to drag my image tracker onto it. <clears throat> so, the image tracker itself is already calling this in. 
So yeah, we've still got the reference image library, which is of course the image library we created last time. Let's have a quick look at it. It's got the Earth and the Mar uh, sorry, Mars and Earth already in that list. <clears throat> the important bit here is we've got the same names. So notice my name for my Mars image was Mars. I've got Earth. My prefab is called Mars. My Earth is, is called Earth. And it's all the same spells. These are the same things. Now you don't have to do this, but you'd have to write more code to handle it. So I'm going to make sure I'm selecting my AR prefabs and I can drag my <clears throat> Earth onto there. Oops, got to press plus twice. One for Earth, one for Mars. And now when I press play, hopefully if we've done this correctly, we should see it now doing uh, both, both planets. There we go. Yep, we can see that it's now put the Earth and Mars where they need to be. Um, now, if you notice, it's actually using the exact same coordinates. It's, so it's using the zero, zero-ness. Now, if we want to physically move that so it's projected a little bit away from the image, I can click back on my Mars prefab, and I could just say position. Let's just move it um, up a little bit. So if I just push that up and just Z into the distance a little bit, this is just to prove a point, which is minus one. I'm going to do the same on Earth. So we can just experiment with what they're like. I'm hoping these numbers are correct. If not, we can play with them. This is going to be the offset. So now when I press play, it should project them slightly away from the image itself. I think has it gone behind them? Nope, we've lost them all together. That's no good. I must have just done the numbers a bit too big. So we'll go back and we'll play. And again, this is going to be a bit of a trial and error thing. So maybe what I should have done, rather than being one, is I've just maybe tried map point two, and point two, and that was Mars. I'm just, just checking my positive and negative numbers. So on the next one I'll do point 0.2 and that one minus point 0.2. And let's have a look if we can see those. We should only ever really change one variable at a time until we're happy with it. Okay, there we go. We can now see we've got Mars is behind our little picture and Earth is in front of our picture. So you can play about with the offsets until you're happy with where it's at. But that's how we can now track multiple objects. If you want to do more you would just simply go into your edit mode, create the prefab, which of course you could import something from Blender or other programs, attach it to an empty, make sure it's in the right scale and the right size, drag it to the bottom, and then you've got your prefab. Uh, in our next tutorial, we will look at how we can make these objects clickable. So when we click on the button or we click on the prefab, it'll pop up some new information. So I shall see you in the next lesson.